everyone, my name is Chloe and today I'm here with what is for me kind of a sad, kind of exciting um, video. So we are just about to move. If you can't tell, we've got um, empty bookshelves, paint and stuff going on on the walls and we are just a couple days away from moving. And the town that we live in now is where Jeremy and I met. We got married, we had both of our kids here. We just have lived here for a long time. Our family's here. There's a lot of things that we are going to be leaving um, that are really just kind of nostalgic to us. And part of that is Little Free Libraries for me. So um, if you don't know what a Little Free Library is, they you can go to, I think it's like littlefreelibrary.org or something. I'm not sure, I'll link it down below. But um, they're just little like houses, little boxes, I guess, of things where you take a book and leave a book. And it's just a little free library. And they're so cool. And that is where I unhaul most of my books, especially after COVID. Like during COVID, that's the only place I took my books. And now since, I just, I really love the concept and really want to keep them going. And when I first looked at this town, we had two little free libraries. And I'm in a town of about 60,000 people. And there were two. Now there's like 10, which is still not a ton when you think about like other places that have a lot more, but 10 little free libraries. And I think that is awesome. That's just in the past couple of years. They're just popping up everywhere because they're wonderful. So if you have them in your community or if you haven't looked into it, please check it out. So for me, I love going to little free libraries. I found some great stuff there. I've taken a lot of books there. And I just think like it just feels like a little community of readers. Like there's definitely people I know that we like my sister and I, in fact, have swapped books through a little free library, not even knowing that we were doing that. And I just think they're so fun. So in this video, I want you to come along with me as I go to some little free libraries in our town and kind of say goodbye and um, unhaul some books. Okay, let's see what's in here. It looks pretty full. And this one is normally like kind of hit and miss, so we'll see. Um, let's see, we've got, huh. A bunch of stuff, John Grisham. Um, I think I put this Candace Bushnell in there. Um, I don't think I need anything in here. There's a whole layer back there, but it's the Nora Roberts Quartet um, that I put in there. And I put that in there a long time ago, so I don't know how often this gets cleaned out, but. There's a little space for a couple more, so I'm gonna put a couple more in there. Okay, so now we are at um, arguably my favorite little free library because this one is right outside of the um, place where Jeremy and I got married. So this one also normally has some pretty good stuff, um, but let's see. So it is really, really bright out here, so I'm not sure what you guys can see, but normally there's a lot more in this, so somebody must have kind of cleared it out. Um, Let's see. Huh. Randy Alcorn, he wrote, um, I think, The Five People You Meet in Heaven. I like that one. Um, some middle grade. Racing in the Rain. I have that, I think. The Boy in Striped Pajamas. Um, let me see. Have I read this? I don't think I have. I think I'm going to take the boy in striped pajamas and I'm going to leave December by Elizabeth Winthrop. Just read that one. And Smart vs. Pretty by Valerie Frankel. So, um, not a huge win, but boy in the striped pajamas I am excited about. So, on to the next one. All right. So, now we're at another one. If you guys watch the vlogs a lot this is um one of the areas where we do a story walk but they have this um cute little thing and this is um right around the wick office so there's a lot of times there's some kids stuff in here um let's just see what's in here my hopes are not high um danielle Steele, um a father's heart that is a harlequin super romance that one might be cute but uh, oh, it says an unforgettable novel and Rita award-winning author, Karen Young. Huh, that could be good. I don't think I'm going to take it. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really anything I need in here. So I'm going to leave 
um, these two, the Queen of Everything and the Year of Fog. And yeah, that's another little free library. Okay, so we're at this one now, and I didn't even know this existed. This is really like pretty close to our house, and it's a tiny little box, but that's okay. We are going to check and see what's in here. Um, Amy Tan, I am not sure about that, so I'm not going to take that, but whew, it's a little windy. Almost got me. Um, the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. I did read that across the nightingale floor don't know about that okay well i'm going to put these two the parting um by beverly lewis and wild honey by friend michaels um i see a little debbie down here a mrs miracle christmas but i don't think i'm going to take anything so cute little box in my neighborhood sort of who knew can't get the door shut so i'm going to shut this off and see if i can get it shut Okay, so I think this is gonna be my last stop. Um, this one is so cute. It's got this one for grown-ups and this one for kids. Um, so let's just see what they've got. Okay, Una out of order. I loved that one. I need to check and see if I have that on my shelf because I honestly can't remember. Um, some Jody Pico. I think I may have brought those here. Um, French women don't get fat. I've heard about that, but I have not read it. Um, otherwise, I think I'm good. So I'm going to put these two, A False Sense of Well-Being and The Kitchen God's Wife. And I'm going to double check if I have Una out of order. And um, that's it. But overall, this one looks pretty good. <laughs>